Hey gang, I thought this might be a little fun to take a look at real quickly, just a, a brief summary on Barbarossa Army Group South from GMT. I think this is turn 12. We're doing combat resolution up on the northern section of the maps. And just got them kind of line item out here. We've moved and advanced after combat, etc. And I'll just quickly run you down on, on what happened and, uh, and, and what we're trying to achieve here. And you might pick up uh, <clears throat> a little, a few little nuances here with the uh, with the game system. Interestingly enough, uh, these first three attacks across here, actually one, two, three attacks here, did not involve any attack supply, which means you automatically get a plus two penalty on your die roll. But because I applied air, and it all went in here, and we had engineers, and although we're attacking into a city. Uh, we and we had we got uh, we got some other bonuses and it managed to net everything out to a plus one penalty, but I rolled a one. So I got very lucky there. The, the forces here had to take three step losses and retreat. And I don't believe uh, cities allow us to not retreat. So uh, although we do have to halve the combat factors going into the attack, but we managed to pull together seven to one. Now there was there were. Uh, uh, because I was attacking from this hex into here, uh, I also had to soak off on this guy. So I took a chance and used the uh, 11th Panzer, 15th Regiment, uh, the, the, big, the big guns, big tanks here, to do a soak off and gave them air support. And we got in at a 3-2 to two attack with just a plus 1, but a roll of 6. Fortunately for that, uh, that net 7 there gave us a retreat, which is an ideal result. <laughs> So very, very lucky uh, on that attack there. And then uh, we had another attack here. I'm trying to clear the, push everything back uh, onto this road and then ideally back into the woods because we want to keep pushing this way and take uh, uh, Zitomir here, I think is how you pronounce that, this town right here, which leads us directly to Kiev. It's just 20 hexes from Kiev or thereabouts. So we would have our objective inside and we could kind of bring some forces together and good things like that. Uh, so that attack went at seven to one, rolled at eight, however, uh, but uh, that still was a decent result for us. I, I forget now, I think I, I had to, uh, oh, I don't have to retreat. Let's have a look, seven to one, roll at eight, becomes a seven on a seven to one, a seven on a seven to one. I must not have resolved this. What am I doing? Seven on seven to one. Because that's not that's a step seven on a seven to one. More than eight. Minus one. That's a one one. That's actually a one two. So I do actually have to gotta to take a step plus here. And uh, an extra one because it is indeed a uh, asterisk asterisk result. Um, I guess I'll bug it up there. So I'm glad, see, I'm glad to do these videos sometimes because it helps me keep track of stuff. So I'm going to put, uh, just like we did last night with the, the live video, I'm going to put two loss markers on there and we'll take our losses out of that stack in a little bit. Good, I'm glad I caught that. <laughs> kind of glad I caught that. Um, here, nine to one attack against a, a unit in a strong point. Uh, with a plus one, we used uh, supply here because we were in range. Uh, same here, we just uh, cranked out an attack there. It was uh, just a one defense unit, and then we had you know ten to one. Uh, so those two guys uh, were eliminated and allowed us to uh, clear this little zone here, uh, with the view that we can potentially cut off uh, these forces here along the uh, Denstra River, I think it is, or the the uh, Bessarabian. Ukraine border just there and uh, I oriented the movement a little bit differently than what I was planning on. I, I was planning on doing a dual move along here kind of committing, well actually committing most of the forces here trying to encircle and then come up but as I sat and looked at the map I realized that with a group of, of divisions here they were within striking range over here because of these minor roads, they're, they're half movement rate. So I did have uh, some some minor forces in the way uh, that we overran, 
earlier in the uh, in the cycle, but you know, so they were they were kind of a, a road bump, but they didn't prevent the actual penetration here to get these attacks in. So that was kind of a kind of that's the net of the combat in the north. We have two small attacks going on down in the south, and and that'll be it. And you see, we're slowly pushing the railheads up. Uh, trying to catch up, we're clearing fortification so that we can uh, carry supply through or uh, have clear lines of communication for supply. And uh, you know, as we consolidate all this mess that was back here uh, around Brody uh, and push it up, we've now got enough forces here to you know threaten these units here and not let them escape too quickly. Lots of artillery. But uh, there's three or four solid divisions there and, and one panzer, two panzer divisions here actually that uh, are threatening the flank here as well. Or they could lunge this way. So I'm trying to keep the Soviet player guessing as to what the uh, intent will be. And what I'll probably do uh, when it comes to moving for the Soviets is I'll roll a die to uh, decide on my kind of general strategic direction. Am I going to pull everything back or am I going to stay and fight? Uh, particularly here and uh, just beyond camera range or camera view. view. So that's kind of what's going on. Look forward to talking soon. We'll carry on with the uh, motorized movement right now. Later.